As much as religion seems to divide us, religion is possibly the greatest proof of how much we all have in common. And what we have in common is far more than our differences. It's a desperation to know God and to be free from the walls that we've built that keep us from feeling the love and acceptance we instinctively crave from Him. Judaism, Islam, Christianity, Buddhism, Confucianism, Hinduism, Baha'i, Sikhism, Taoism, Jainism, Shinto, and all the others. These are just the beginning of a long list of religions of the world. Perhaps there are as many religions as there have been individual people. We all have our own way of relating or not relating to God. Even in the context of a specific faith, we may have been taught. Some religions even say that there are many ways to God. As a Christian, I would say there are many personal journeys, but only one way. Whatever your opinion is of religion, surely we can agree that eventually our personal journeys lead us to the need and desire for a relationship with something and someone greater than ourselves. Someone who understands and can make sense of all that we cannot. Someone who is intentional with our reason for existing and equally as intentional with whatever comes next. Something stronger than us, wiser, and a refuge from whatever it is that seems to always conspire against us. Religion is a tricky subject because like all truth, it's held in the tension of two opposing thoughts. Religion is worth living for and dying for, the freedom for humans to choose for themselves if, who, or what they will worship. On the other hand, religion is also the biggest enemy to love, which is the very essence of who God is. In our resources, we speak of solutions for each of the seven primary areas of our cultures. In that context, the solution for our religions is no religion. Freedom of religion, yes, but what about freedom from religion and freedom of relationship? We're born with the right to have our own beliefs or religion, but we're not truly free until we realize that religion is bondage if it does not bring us into a relationship with God Himself rather than a relationship with rules. Are you willing to expand your perception of who God really is and learn to see Him as the God of all of life, who has the solution and better ways for every area of culture? Then think about this. If there is a God, then He Himself is indeed the solution for everything that isn't right. Religion, as opposed to simply a personal healthy relationship with God, has been the source of many of history's most savage wars. Religion is the cause of millions of deaths across generations. There's something not right about religion, something quite wrong, and a huge need for improving, just like every other area of culture. Could God be the answer to our problem of religion? Is there an aspect of God Himself that's the solution we need for the problems of religion? Absolutely. What does religion look like when the real God is actually in it? If you aren't so sure about Christianity, don't worry. I'm not about to say that Christianity is the answer for the problems of religion. In fact, many who've walked away from religion have done so because of their experiences with Christians. God is not hoping we all convert to a religion called Christianity. He simply wants a relationship with us and sent His Son, Jesus Christ, to heal our relationship with Him. God is love. So what does love look like in this area or sector of our culture? In the context of religion, love looks like honor. And honor is far from simply following rules, laws, and behaving right out of obligation as seen in most religions. Honor is showing respect from a heart that is impacted by what or whom it's interacting with. When we say, I'm honored to meet you, 
we're communicating how privileged we feel. It's supposed to be a response that's heartfelt and genuine. When religion is true worship that's birthed out of love and not performance, then honor is restored to a nation's culture through whatever religions are present. A sense of awe and wonder of how amazing God is can bring real relationship and overtake the false religions that we've settled for. Whatever calls itself love must ultimately be like its source, God. God evokes honor, that sense of worship and respect from us, because that's who He is as well. He has shown us honor by loving us even when we don't deserve it based on how we act or respond to Him. His love and His honor of us is unconditional. So we give Him honor, and He is honor. It's kind of like telling a judge, Your honor, I honor you. We are made in His image as those who are created both to give and receive honor. So if we claim to have religion and a relationship with God, then our love and actions must be infused with honor. Otherwise, it's a false religion and far from the real God. Pure and undefiled religion is full of love expressed as honor. When you honor or respect someone, you're treating them as someone of value and worth, whether or not you think they deserve it. You give honor because you have a core value of honor. If a religion does not carry honor in its expression, honor of not only God, but of women, of all races, of all classes, and basically all humans, then it is most certainly a false religion far less than God's original invitation to us. Even if we never all agreed on what kind of relationship with God is real, what would happen if we all embraced love and honor of all people as fundamental to all religion? Now that would be peace on earth. When you are an honorable person, you do not murder in the name of God. When you truly honor God, you honor those He created, whether you agree with them or not. What if in the end, we all discover there not only is a God, but He's more good, more kind, loving, and caring than anyone or any version of a God we've ever imagined? No matter your religion, but especially if you're a follower of Jesus, let's all honor Him by erring on the side of authentic love expressed as honor for every person, every heart, and every religion.